Better, better. Okay. Come on. Oh, it's too steep right now. Whoa! That's insane. Steepest part of the hill. 32 degrees. 62% grade. Yeah, the, the, the left is, has a hole in it. Woo! Damn! Oh, shit. Okay, this is a gnarly hill. Phew! I made it to that hole. Right there. Okay. That was hella hard. Yo, way past! No way, what the fuck? This is insane! Oh! Woo! Dude! This super fuck is crazy, guys. I, of course, you can't see how steep this is, but no board can make it up this. No regular FM board. Dude, I think I can make it all the way up. I need to get my up. Alright, guys, I had to come back to this hill, measure the steepness of a hill at the average slope and also at the highest, steepest part. Let's go check it out. The foot of the hill, we have about 19.4 degrees, which is about a 34% grade. Then up here, 25, whopping 29.9 degrees right here, which is 57% grade. Crazy. And it's just gonna get steeper. What are we here? 30 degrees. You can't really tell. Let me see. This is where it gets even steeper. 26.6. Well, this part is the steepest part of the hill. 30 two degrees is 62 percent what call it 32 so that's a 62 percent grade crazy <laughs> Holy shit! Yahoo! Whoa! <laughs> Dude! I can't even do it walking. <laughs> Watch out! 
Let's call it a good day today. <laughs> Watch out. He likes to roll. Better, better. Okay. Oh, it's crunching. Oh, shit. Ooh, so close. With that motor, it kind of gives out. Whereas the Superflux has no crunching at all and is uh, smooth all the way up. But very close. That was way better. I bet you all we got to do is better tune this motor with the right settings. With mines way more well versed than me of all the technical stuff. And we can make this happen. Now the competition is between... Woo! Now the competition is with float wheel versus DIY vest, and the world is so good right now. Yeah. Oh, so ready. <laughs> 